Can I get some focus? Jesus. Got the mulch guy. Two houses we're doing right around the block from each other. I got them dumping half here and then half over here at this house. So it's easier, right? I tried, I wanted to go pick this stuff up, but I'm like, nah, gotta get the oil changed in the truck. What's up, man? You wanna say hi to all your friends? Yeah, son. <laughs> Damn it, too much mulch here. I didn't put enough mulch at the other property because it looked like, ah, you know what I'm saying? And then we dumped the rest here and that's too much damn mulch for this property. So I gotta manually shovel a bunch into the F-150. Oh, good thing I got a shovel. What's up, Keith? Hope you're doing very well. Don't mind me, I'm multitasking. Um, I haven't been making a lot of YouTube videos lately. Uh, I've been busier than I've ever been in my entire life. Which, hey, it's a good thing, right? Like a warden. Flat tire on the work truck, eh? So that's how it works. So if you spin it, it balances and it tells you that you put the little weights on. Yep. Here's all the little weights. It's like gambling and Russian roulette. You do. Because you had a party when I was off the house. gonna tape as much anymore but it's not hard to vlog while I'm already doing what I, whatever I'm doing so I need a self tapper screw sure do you know where self tappers are self tapper you need an crimping electrical eye lid tapper for the, to drill into the frame the electrical isn't working on the truck and need a a driver socket for a drill that goes on to the hex of the self tapper aha thank you sir here we go the self tappers these ones open them up we got a 5 h inch and right, come back here Actually, when I was younger, I was obsessed with car audio systems. I worked at two different car audio, car alarm, remote start installation places. Did all that for a couple years. I want to look over in the garden section real quick to see if they got this edging shovel I need. I like edging shovels, but they're too damn short. And only some makers make the tall one. You'll know what I mean. See the edging shovel, but how it's so short. I need the tall one. And they don't have it here. Damn it. And I'm sick of these too. They work good if you're a beginner, but they're too damn flimsy. I want to get the pro one. All good on that stuff. 
All right, here we go. These things, man. I think that's right. 16 gauge, no, I need a 10, 12 gauge, that's too small. The higher the gauge is, the smaller the wire. Just like car stereo systems, 12 gauge would be speaker wire for subwoofers. You know, four gauge, two gauge, odd gauge for amps. Well, look at that, you could buy a whole damn kit with the crimpers and everything. Oh yeah, and I learned a big thing about making money, about money, like the prices of things, a couple bucks, just grab the shit, put it in the cart, and go fix what you need to fix. And focus on making money, right? Because if you're fretting and stressing out about like saving nickels and dimes and you're sitting there, you're, you're literally wasting your time that you could be banging out jobs and making work spent way too much trying losing money trying to save money does that make sense yeah. one more quick thing to check out in Lowe's the window cleaning tools you can actually grab all this stuff but this doesn't articulate so I don't want to use it these are only a one-timer well, let me see oh cool and then we got this one right here oh sweet all right, thank you. All right, here we are, quoting this tree. Told you about this tree already. We'll step out, we'll walk around the property. They want the whole tree removed because it's growing too close to the building and the roots have lifted up the concrete, right? So they want the concrete done as well all inside of one quote. So the concrete has to be subbed out, but I already know a concrete guy who will do it. Uh, I don't know him, He, a client of mine uses them all the time, so I'm in contact with this guy right now. So this is the tree. Luckily, the whole thing can be just dropped right here. I walk to closer, closer to it. Obviously, objects are larger than they appear on this video. So I was thinking uh, $1,800 for the tree. And then, oh, the last video didn't record. Uh, the concrete here, these two pieces have been lifted up. One, two, then an extra three. That one, that one, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 1200 for the concrete I'm just guessing I'm not a concrete guy this tree right here here's the size of it and then that little turd <laughs> but this then it's already leaning actually it's perfect well, maybe just cut that little piece out or just drop the whole damn thing there you go so 1800 for the tree 1200 for the concrete that puts you at three grand and then uh 350 to 400 for stump grinding which is uh 3400 and i want to add a couple hundred actually two to three hundred and make it 36 to 3700 and then while we're here we got to lift up and move all the concrete out of the way to grind all this shit down so then when the concrete guys come they can get like we'll take the pieces and throw them over here or something and then the concrete guys will come lay new concrete when the tree is gone so i'm thinking 3600 to 3700 really 3400 but adding 300 maybe more i don't want to lose money i want to make lots of money right there you go it's pretty cut and dry 1800 three to four hundred for the stump grinding 1200 for this Thank you.